people are just straight up making excuses for his kind of behavior. Yes, please. Yo, if there's any of you pathetic idiots in my chat, please jump on my Discord. I'm not trying to, obviously not justifying anyone being sexually harassed, but... Okay. So Jimmy Dore. Apparently... Apparently I have Jimmy Dore fans in my, uh, my audience. Just a little bit creepy. There was one Jimmy Dore fan that might come on. Um, so basically, let me give you the quick rundown. All right, let's do the, the rewind. I did this video here on Jimmy Dore, and it has almost 100 dislikes. People that are all like triggered as fuck about me calling out sexual harassment. Like it's the creepiest, cringiest shit. People are just straight up making excuses for his kind of behavior. He has fans. Yeah, a lot of them apparently. You got off the wrong stop there, bud. Dora is just a guy with a sense of humor. He dropped a joke. Cringe maybe, but it's a joke. Did you watch the rest of what happened, or are you going to just hop on with TYT? All he did is comment on her skirt. To this dipshit, I would say, yes. He made a joke about her skirt. It was in an inappropriate context. And it was in front of everyone, and it was degrading and humiliating towards her. That's called sexual harassment, my dude. That's what it is. <laughs> I don't care if it's just a joke, bro. <sniffs> That's what sexual harassment is. Hunter, everything has context. You are seeing this from your fake virtuous mindset. Your v videos used to be really good. Now you're just scratching at the bottom of the barrel, bro. Yep, calling out sexual harassment. <laughs> Hunter Avalon, dude, what an idiot. I mean, I know Avalon has changed, but my word, he is a bit unhinged. Door has changed for the better. I don't know if this is because Avalon only has a daughter. This fact makes him extremely defensive of females in general. What the fuck is this shit? Can you imagine this person's world where being unhinged is condemning sexual harassment? It's like, what, what are you mean? What is the problem with these people? Can't wait to see you debate the Neanderthals ready to defend Jimmy. Yes, please. Yo, if there's any of you fucking pathetic idiots in my chat, please jump on my Discord. Hunter's peak end-of-the-world content. Imagine the knuckle-draggers who feast on these videos. There was one person that said something really stupid. This, this guy, and I'm still waiting for this guy to jump on, by the way. None of that was creepy, my dude. Why have you become such an SJW? You heard it. You remember a couple months back it made me an SJW for condemning slavery? Now it appears I'm an SJW for thinking workplace sexual harassment is bad. Hunter Avalon, man. He sold out to the left. <laughs> now he thinks that... Sexually degrading comments directed at your female co-workers is inappropriate. What a soy boy. I said, looking forward to talking to you tonight. Bleh. I hope I can talk better than this. Looking forward to talking to you tonight on my stream. Join my Discord. Let's talk about how I'm an SJW. And then he responded, Maybe I have to do multiple things. If I get them done quick enough, I can. What time? Like, I don't hate you or think you're stupid. If you want someone like that to talk to in order to make it more entertaining, I'm not that kind of guy. And then I told him that my Discord link is in here. And he can jump in. <laughs> But yeah, these people are fucking insane. Wow, imagine siding with TYT. I explicitly said I don't like Anna Kasparian. But sexual harassment is sexual harassment, my, my dude. Hunter doesn't really know what he's talking about. 
Anna wears things to look sexy, so the guy acknowledges it. And when she cries for more attention by complaining about that acknowledgement, the guy gives him an apology card like a gentleman. Jimmy is a decent boomer. She bent down, and he looked at her ass, saw her thong, and then made a giant loud comment about it and embarrassed her in front of everyone. This after it had already kind of more or less been established that the dude had a pattern of sexually harassing her in the past as well. I'm sorry, my dude. If that's what you think a fucking gentleman is, then you're sick in the head. You're delusional. You're seriously defending the Young Turks over Jimmy Dore? No, I don't have to side with the Young Turks to recognize that Jimmy Dore shouldn't sexually harass his co-workers. Do you watch either of them outside of this one video? Uh, not really, no. Turns out I don't have to to recognize that sexual harassment is bad. I'm sorry, but you're absurd. <laughs> Dude, I, I can't deal with, like, the delusion of these people. You can tell. I, I genuinely do get, like, visibly frustrated every now and then. And I'm not even afraid to fucking admit it. Like, these people are fucking insane. And they're justifying blatant sexual harassment, claiming it was a joke. It, you're being absurd. Hunter's, Hunter's unhinged. Like, I'll get mad about it. I don't care. Yeah. Hunter missing so hard. Get on my Discord right now. Please. Please. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. You have to watch all of Jimmy's back catalog if you ever want to say it's bad for him to sexually harass coworkers. Exactly. I'm waiting for someone who's a Jimmy Dore fan to uh to get on here. You agree with Jimmy Dore on the stuff with Anna Kasparian? What what about it do you agree with? Well, not the sexual harassment stuff, but the stuff that uh, initiated that regarding the Syrian chemical weapons. That has nothing to. I don't. I'm not involved in that. Well, yeah, that's how, it, that's how it began, though, because Jimmy Dore was defending Aaron Matei from the Gray Zone News. I don't know if you're familiar with him and his work. Not really, no, but this is kind of irrelevant. I was criticizing the very specific sexual harassment behavior on his part. Well, you have to look at it from a bigger picture, right? Because there was stuff that initiated it. Well, there may have been stuff that initiated their feud, sure, but, I mean, Jimmy Dore literally, like, he acknowledged and admitted to doing what he did, right? Yeah, and it's, uh, that's definitely inappropriate, what he did. But at the same time, so was Anna Kasparian trying to assassinate the character of Aaron Matei, who was exposing the... This has nothing Syrian to do with chemical it. Weapons. This has nothing to no, do no, with No, no, that's exact. that's what... Jimmy Dore was responding to initially. It, which it doesn't Anna matter. Kasparian it's what, to send him that DM. It's what he said to Anna Kasparian specifically, the sexual harassment that was the problem. Their feud so may have originated because of very said in, in this whole story. Well, yes, when it comes to this, yes. I mean, the, the title on Jimmy Dore fans being fucking pathetic is about the Jimmy Dore fans that are defending the sexual harassment. Okay, I thought you were more interested in the larger context of this issue. I mean, I know that there's pro I know there's like a feud going on between them. I know everything. I I don't really care about that though. Oh, okay. So you're only interested in the the kind of trivial stuff because this is a much larger story and more interesting than what it's being boiled down to now. I don't think it's trivial the the fact that he made those kind of comments and it sounds like he had a pattern of that behavior as well. Maybe so, but I mean, if you look at Anna Kasparian, like, I'm not trying to, obviously not justifying anyone being sexually harassed, but Anna Kasparian deliberately tried to assassinate the character and um, diminish uh, a very important story regarding the chemical weapons and the uh, OPCW, OPCW whistleblowers, and that's the real important part of this whole situation so she hid the story or whatever and no, no that she, she is, tried to makes it okay that her. he did sexual harassment i'm not sure i'm following no 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 she she uh, attacked a journalist the leading journalist who's trying to expose or actually just publish uh whistleblower uh complaints regarding the uh syrian chemical weapons so what does this have to do with the sexual harassment well because 
the initial reason that Anna Kasparian sent the DM to Jimmy Dore was because Jimmy Dore was uh, promoting Aaron Maté. And Anna Kasparian had uh, then went on this huge rant. But your point doesn't make against sense. Against him. You're, but you're, well, are you talking about the DM? Or did she go? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that wouldn't really be classified as a rant against him necessarily. Second of all, your point doesn't really stand up because what you're basically getting at is that she was trying to keep something hidden. Jimmy Dore was covering it. She didn't like that. So she released the DM. She sent a DM to him more or less threatening some kind of claim of sexual harassment. That's what it sounds like you're getting at, which one is more or less justifying it. And two, that doesn't hold up because Jimmy Dore admitted to doing it. She's not claiming to tell lies here. She said she explicitly laid out ways that he treated her in that DM. And he further elaborated, acknowledging that he made uh, inappropriate comments directed at her about the jeans she was wearing and was making inappropriate jokes, publicly humiliating her at the Young Turks when she was wearing skirts where he claimed he could see her ass or something. So, yeah, I mean, what? Like, it's, I'm not sure I'm following, I guess. Hello? Hello? <laughs> you all right? Did he leave? Did I scare him away? Did I... Wait, he left. Um, okay, that was a little <laughs> weird. Maybe, I don't know if his thing broke or if he just left. <laughs> I think he just dipped the call. If he comes, if he comes back in, we'll get him back in. Oh boy. Special thanks to my incredible patrons for making this video possible. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when I drop a new video.